Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a full comparison here of the Sony Xperia Z5 uh, Premium on the left and the Sony Xperia Z5 Normal. Uh, I think quite a lot of people might be wondering whether or not it's worthwhile to pay a little bit more for the Premium here or will the uh, Sony Xperia Z5 Normal suffice? Uh, and it's a tough question really, you know, both of them do have uh, slight advantages and disadvantages. Uh, to be aware of so in this video I just wanted to check out basically you know uh, what those advantages and disadvantages might be uh, and uh, I think obviously the most important advantage of the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium uh, is obviously the uh, pixel dense display You're looking at 800 and 6 ppi pixel per inch display here capable uh, when you're doing uh, video watching as well as what looking at pictures and things like that uh, which is uh, obviously the main advantage going for the uh, Z5 Premium. I have done some comparisons with some other displays and a lot of people did you know point out that they could see uh, the absolutely beautiful display here 4k technology uh, first on a smartphone here uh, whereas on the Sony Xperia uh, Z5 you're looking at a full HD display which I think is about 400 odd ppi uh, which is still very respectable you know still very usable when uh, you know day to day etc uh, but it is very similar I think to the Z3, Z3 Plus Z3 and Z2 uh, so, you know, not the uh, kind of, you know, earth-shattering uh, kind of uh, technology changes really when it comes to the Z5. Very nice display nevertheless, so I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that if you're looking for something new, something to show off, you know, in front of your friends, etc. Uh, the premium is a reason to pay a little bit more here. The other reason... Uh, that you might want to consider the premium is the actual uh, form factor. Now the form factor on the back here is absolutely beautiful uh, if you get the chrome or gold one. Uh, it's obviously coming uh, with very kind of mirror-like uh, back here which extends around the borders of the phone as well. You can see it going all the way around here. Uh, which you don't get on the normal Z5. On the normal Z5 you get either a frosted uh, gold colour or a silver colour or a green one uh, or a black or black greyish one uh, which looks very nice don't get me wrong but you know I think it doesn't really stand out quite as much as the uh, the Z5 Premium here when you're out and about uh, it doesn't glisten off the sun and things like that but then again you know the Z5 uh, normal does have an advantage here uh, in that you can't really see fingerprints or anything you don't have to carry a dust cloth around uh, even if I'm you know really putting my hand on this uh, you know you can't really see any like marks or anything it looks absolutely fantastic and that might be a deciding factor for going for the uh, normal Z5 here that you get the kind of frosted effect uh, which uh, may you know may not have to be maintained as much as the Z5 Premium I've already done a video on maintaining this uh, but you know at the end of the day pros and cons with this particular aspect of it uh, but personally I do enjoy the chrome finish on the Z5 Premium. Now the other reason why you might want to get the Z5 Premium is in terms of the battery life. The battery on the Z5 Premium actually is slightly higher than the one in the Z5, You're getting a 3430mAh battery because it's obviously it's a bigger form factor and in my actual day-to-day -day usage, I have been using this as a daily driver, I've found the battery to be very solid here. Uh, you know, Sony wisely didn't bother go with uh, making it 4K all the time, so it's defaulted to full HD, which certainly helps the battery life here. And uh, I think the Z5 normal has good battery life in itself, you know, much better than the Galaxy S6, for example. But to me, I think the... Z5 Premium seems to be uh, a little bit more of a stay here, maybe because it's the uh, increased capacity and you know not a much bigger display really. Uh, maybe if you're killing it with the 4K content, it might not uh, last as long then. But I found the battery to be an advantage here with the Z5 Premium, so I'm going to call it for what it is. 
Uh, I think um, they both support fast charging according to GSM Arena so you can get to up to 60% in 30 minutes so that's pretty cool however the charger that you get in the box doesn't actually I don't think support that which is quite weird really you'd think they'd include that uh, both of them coming with high res audio support which is very nice as well if you have uh, like something like uh, you know uh, the new uh, kind of streaming services such as Tidal uh, it supports all that uh, high res audio good stuff uh, both of them obviously come in with your Sony suite of apps as well such as a Sony Walkman player uh, video player what's new etc uh, which keeps you you know informed in regards to the content which is very nice uh, so the software experience is relatively identical really it's not uh, a massively different experience uh, the other thing that you might want to consider though comparing these two is the actual form factor uh, I've, I found that the form factor on the Z5 Premium definitely appeals to people who like larger phones you know if you're coming from your Nexus 6P or your Note 5 iPhone 6S Plus uh, you'll really feel at home with the bigger display here it feels just right in the hand and you, you know you're getting a little bit better multimedia experience whereas the Z5 in itself is quite uh, you know it's a big phone at the end of the day but it still it feels quite small actually in comparison to what you can get on the market right now and some people might be put off with the smaller size here uh, which uh, you know is a little bit smaller uh, you can get the Z5 compact as well which is even smaller but some people you know uh, might think that's even too small personally I think the uh, Z5 Premium is more of a, like a power users kind of device if you're into your power usage you know you're looking for you know multimedia content gaming things like that you're gonna get a better experience on this if you ask me particularly when uh, more 4 4k content becomes available and supported on the device uh, which I have actually mentioned in another video Marshmallow will be allowing for that uh, so that's you know another reason to go for the uh, the Z5 premium however you know the Z5 itself has its own advantage of being a bit smaller you know you can get your hand around it with one hand which is very useful taking pictures a little bit cumbersome and slippery I've found on the Z5 premium whereas on the Z5 normal because of the frosted back uh, it's very easy to get your hand here at the uh, physical shutter button and take shots nice and quick uh, so that's something to be aware of uh, but other than that, you know, in terms of the uh, actual feature set, I think both of them are fully IP68 certified, so you can, you know, dunk them in water. I've already dunked the Z5 in soda, and, you know, it's survived. I've done a water test with the Z5 Premium, no issues uh, going forward here. So both of them coming with 3 gigs of RAM, uh, 32 gigs internal storage, and expandability up to 200 gigabytes which is very nice as well Samsung's taken that away from us obviously uh, recently and they're looking to bring that back apparently for the Galaxy S7 according to some rumors uh, but yeah I think uh, that probably about sum summarizes the main points I wanted to discuss here between these two both obviously excellent phones uh, would I implore on you to spend a little bit more for the Z5 premium probably I would uh, because you know if you're looking for something which can compete with the big dogs then this is definitely the phone to get here the Z5 nevertheless a good choice a little bit cheaper uh, but the Z5 premium is you know the boss phone here in the, uh, the Sony line if you ask me right now uh, but yeah just a quick little video here hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one cheers